Making print-on-demand designs does not have to be hard. In fact, that's why I'm using AI like this to make me these designs right here. These are 100% generated by AI. And today I'm kicking off a new series here on my channel. If you wanna see more of this, make sure to drop a like and let me know down in the comments below. What we're gonna be doing is going through and having me show you the top five designs that AI made me this week. If you're just getting started with your print-on-demand store and you want help, make sure to check out my course. It's completely free and there's a link down in the description. using ChatGPT with the new Doll E3 add-on. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. And you can see here that I just typed in here that I need a comforter with a design printed on it about loving horses and pillows to match. And you can see that it made me these designs here. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And honestly, the goal here is not to take the design directly from the AI and use it as our print file with our print-on-demand supplier, but instead, the goal is to use AI to generate us the idea. And then, if you're a graphic designer, you could remake it yourself and really just put the best finishing touches on it. Obviously, something like this here at the bottom has some issues with text, and sometimes, like this one here, you will see a horse that actually does not have a four leg, you can see that its back leg is in fact cut off. What I'm doing is using AI to generate ideas for me inside of niches that I want to sell in. That way, when I work with my graphic designer, I can send them exactly what it is I'm trying to do and we can make it awesome together. Here's design number two. You can see that I just said, make me a cutting board with a design etched into it with high detail and the overall theme should be about being a farmer. And this is what the AI came up with. We have four designs for the farming niche. Three of them I think are great, and the other, this one here is the one that I that I don't love. I think this one here is a great cutting board. This one here I don't love because there's something going on with the cow. I also don't like that there is no focus on the person or anything like that. I think the ones that actually have a person in it could be great designs to give someone as a gift. You could also bring some sort of personalization into this and make it even better. Let me show you this live. I'm gonna say make me a doormat with a design on it for a child who loves to play video games. Put a space on it that will have a quote about gaming and also a space for the child's name and the word room. It should read like Joe's game room, for example. And we'll see what it comes up with. And here is what it came up with. Honestly, not too bad. I honestly think all of them are kind of neat. I don't love this one out of the four. I think this one is really good. There is no space for any quotes or anything like that. There is something here below the word game room that AI attempted to make a quote with. It doesn't make any sense. And this one here is also nice, I think. Obviously, these characters are just random characters that it is kind of generating, but they kind of look like game characters. Once you have a design idea, you could use a software like Kittle. It's an awesome design software. It's browser-based and you can get started for free. Inside of Kittle, you could use additional templates to remake a design that AI gave you the idea for. However, the one thing that I really wanna show you inside of Kittle also has something to do with AI. Let's say that I was using ChatGPT to make me something like this. I could then go into Kittle and I could use some of their AI tools to actually remake the design myself. One tool that I really love is their quote generator. This will actually generate me a quote based on the niche that I am selling in. What I can do here is I can select gaming and then go ahead and click on continue. From there, I can choose a mood to go along with the quote as well as a length for the quote. If I was selling a doormat like this here, I probably would want the quote to be a decent length. So for the sake of demonstration, purposes, we will choose 13 to 16 words. For a mood, this is going to go in a kid's room. So I think perhaps funny or sarcastic could be a good option here. Let's go ahead and click sarcastic. We're then going to click the generate quotes button and we'll see what it comes up with. And you can see that Kittle has generated us 12 different quotes all about gaming. Now, obviously we could go out and we could try to find some of these on our own to use in our designs, but this is 
is really simple. You can come into Kittle, you can type your niche in, and you can ultimately generate lots of different quotes to use in your designs. Basically, what I would end up doing is I would end up working with my designer to recreate something like this, and then I would use some of these quotes here to actually bring the design to life. And the best part is AI came up with all of the ideas. Like I said, if you wanna check out Kittle, you can try it for free. I will put a link in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment of this video. They've got a bunch of templates as well inside of their app. It's browser-based that you can use as well. And it's an awesome tool and I would definitely check it out. Here is design number four that AI made me. And like I said earlier, I do have a free course down in the description of this video where I actually am gonna be showing you how to actually use this chat GPT software to generate yourself some design ideas. So definitely check that out if you haven't signed up for the free course yet. There's over 30 videos inside of it showing you how to build your print on demand store. What we have here is another design. I said, can you design me a doormat with a design on it with text about not being around because they're in the back gardening. Also include lots of gardening elements and a spot for someone's last name. AI generated me these four designs here. Now, obviously there are some spelling errors here. That's not the point here. The point of all of this is that with a click of a button, I can generate some really awesome design ideas to create print on demand designs to actually add to my store. If I was just trying to sell doormats inside of the gardening niche, I would have to search online and try to find other design concepts that other people are doing and try to make them my own. But with this, what I can do is have AI do the work for me and then I can just basically plug in my own text to complete the design. And right here is our fifth design of this video. Like I said, this is gonna be a new series I do here on the channel where I just kind of show some of the different things that I've made in AI. I've been basically playing around with this on a daily basis and creating tons of different things. So if you have specific niches in mind that you wanna see me generate designs for, leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely try to do some for future videos. What we have here is me telling the AI to create me an image of leggings with a baseball theme design on it covering the entire leg. Now, what it created doesn't actually look to me like an actual pair of leggings. This kind of looks like a pair of joggers, but that's okay. We have this one here as well this one here and also this one here. Not too bad. I think this one feels a little bit random. I do like this one. This concept here with all the different tickets on it I think is cool. This one here I'm not so sure about and this one here I think is nice as well. Again though the point would not be to do exactly what the AI is creating. The point here is to use AI as a shortcut to come up with some awesome print on demand design ideas for your store. Like I said, new series. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Those are the five designs that I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.